So the kids right now are clearing out the shed for me. Because uh, we do have a lot of things in there. Then I'll get started painting. I'm going to use the Wagner Control Pro 130 painter. It's, uh, it's tremendous. I love this thing. I've used it twice. Uh, I don't like painting, but I love using this spray painter. Go figure, you know. Okay, so we have the inside painted and we put everything in back in here just to get it over out of the way. What I want to do next, I set this little tabletop up um, to use for getting seeds started, but I don't really I don't really like it. I need I want something a little bit better, a little bit sturdier. So we have some two by fours. We have this plywood that was actually given to us. I have a few more sheets of it. This right here is one of the, this is old plywood that was used on construction sites to hold, uh, I'm assuming like concrete blocks and things like that on. So it'll work for what we're doing. Pretty nice gift because we are full in the greenhouse and we are full in the house. So we need some more room. Paint job doesn't look too bad, does it? It's not extremely white all the way through. I didn't go back and put multiple coats on it. Um, but even the darkest spot was right there, and it looks looks great now. So this will be a whole lot brighter for the lights that we put in. But let me get this table built real quick. Don't let it hit the ramp. Looks good. Looks good. We'll put the board up and we'll see what it looks like.
32 inches. Okay, Avery, you want to hold that in? Okay, yeah, just hold that. What side do you want? What side do you want? Small side or the long side? Uh, you slide down. It's fine. Slide, slide it. Is it shorter than that? Yep. Can I have the line? Line, line. Oh, we got, we got a bus. We can get another board. Right? Okay, here goes. Broke your pencil there. Let's see you work. Wow, you did a dark line. Keep going. <laughs> a dark one so you can see it better. You got it? It's still flush? So I think this is the way we want to set it up. This is going to be the top of the table. And so we'll have the legs going to the outside. So we'll have the legs going to the outside edge here. And that way if I wanted to clamp something down to it later on, I can. If I had this on the outside edge, I wouldn't be able to. Well, I could still clamp it, but maybe not as easy. Anyway. Um, so I think yeah, I think we're just going to do it like this. We're just going to screw them together, and then we'll get the sides done. It's going to look good. This will be fine.
Okay, we got, we have two sides done. Now to do the end of it. Okay, so as we were putting the end on this, um, I had to figure out what to do. I ended up just toenailing it, which seems pretty sturdy. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem. So I could have made it so that this goes inside here and screwed it in, screwed it into the outside piece. But um, I could still do that. I would just have to take the screws out. I would just have to take the screws out and do it. If this doesn't hold up or if this looks like it's going to be weak or whatever, I'll make a change to it. But I think it's going to work out okay. Side. Okay, so let's put some two braces in here. So this is 69 inches all the way. Minus three inches gives us 66 on the inside. Put it on the inside. So 22 and 44. Okay, so on this side, we're going to put up a shelf off of the uh, long piece that I cut off of the plywood. So we had the plywood is 8 feet long and 12 inches wide. So that should make a nice little shelf for this side. Okay, so we've added the braces from the back to the front and two angle braces there to help support it. This is pretty stout. I could sit on here and it would not come down. It's right now I'm putting all my weight on it. It's not moving. So it's pretty good. So now we're going to put the plywood on. All right, so that shelf is in. We to screw down the plywood to the top of it. Works out pretty good. So now, no, don't worry. I'm not gonna leave it that way. This is uh, this is for our tool rack. put the garden tools on there yay yay for garden shed so here we are with our table that's on wheels it'll roll around it's pretty sturdy 
So all the wheels working nice, everything is looking good. It'll hold a lot of weight and we'll be using that uh, to pull over some garden things that we have uh, cluttered up in another building, bring it over here and spread it out. But now I have room to do it. Oh, this is awesome. So glad, so glad. So we were able to build the table, put the tool rack up and get the shelf built. I call that a pretty successful day. So thank you all so much for joining us. Have a great day. Love you so much.